Son of a glint. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. The biggest game of the Sonic classics also has some of the most interesting glitches. Oh dear lord does it have glitches. So without further ado, let's get into it. During the intro to Angel Island Zone, it's possible to have Tails airlift Sonic while Knuckles is grabbing the emeralds. With Player 2 controlling Tails, grab Sonic and move to the right as Knuckles is running off. Now there are various glitchy results you can achieve by having Sonic move into the zone early, like sprites not loading quickly enough so the background and the level objects become glitched. Or if the zone's titles appear at a certain point not intended, they'll use sprites from the intro still loaded in memory. We can see sprite tiles of Tails' tornado plane instead of actual letters. Some effects of this early movement are more pronounced. If you jump from Tails around here and then carry on moving through the zone, many of the sprites will be loaded incorrectly, with glitched out sprites instead. Well, it's not that bad, really. Never mind. Once Angel Island gets torched, the game loads in new sprites and the glitch is corrected. Sonic and Knuckles both have different second acts in Angel Island, with neither able to enter the other's sections. Well, not through conventional means anyway. However, Sonic can get into Knuckles' section using Tails. But first, we have to enter a giant ring or a bonus stage. This will cancel a screen lock preventing us from returning back to the first act. Once we re-enter Act 1, stand on these spikes coming out of the wall and look up to pan the camera. Now use Tails to airlift Sonic up slightly enough that the spikes are no longer on screen and then lower Sonic down. Sprite objects like spikes don't exist while off screen and when the spikes appear on screen again they push Sonic into the wall. Now we need to wait for Tails to rejoin us and then he can airlift us high enough to reach a solid floor within the wall. Then we can simply jump down and land in Knuckles section of Act 2. Well, kinda. Since we're not meant to be here, the lower section is cut off preventing us from going any further, and we lose a life. Knuckles can enter Sonic's Act 2 in his super forms, although to do this we yet again need to have entered a bonus stage and then backtrack to Act 1. By climbing this wall and jumping at a certain point, Knuckles in his super form will have the speed to land on these spikes and carry on to Sonic's Act 2. If you do this without having already entered Act 2 and a bonus stage, the boss will trigger but in Knuckles' section and you'll be stuck here unable to attack. Once Knuckles is in Sonic's Act 2, the water present in Sonic's version will be gone. Besides that, the stage is the same, until you reach the part of the act with the airship. No airship will load as that's not part of Knuckles' stage. You can run through to the other side, but there's a screen lock preventing you from going on to fight Sonic's Act 2 boss. And seen as the tunnel you emerge from is blocked off once you leave it, you're stuck. Now that we mention that tunnel, if you stand an exact distance away and spin dash once, it's possible that Sonic can get pushed backwards out of the tunnel when halfway through it. Getting sent back like this has a glitched effect on the rest of the zone. When you reach a certain point in the tunnel, the game loads the next section, in this case the airship. So now if you look carefully, you'll see sprites from the airship on the walls and even the enemies. <laughs> Just look at this guy. Here's a funny thing you can do at the end of Act 2. You'll need a lightning shield for this and then break open the animal capsule as close to the right of the screen as you can. Once Knuckles blows the bridge, jump once to get some height and then once again to double jump to land on top of the capsule. Now it's possible to double jump over an invisible wall that prevents you from reaching Knuckles and stand right next to him. Aha! I think we need to have words about that bridge stunt you just pulled. On to Hydro City now, and as Sonic, spin dash in front of the button at the start of the zone and then have Tails jump on it. Sonic will be carried through the tunnel while still spin dashing, and if you continue holding down on the D-pad, when you get shot out of the other end, Sonic will land and freeze like this. Letting go of down on the D-pad will release the spin dash and continue as normal. Using Tails to airlift Sonic, it's possible to go over the top of these walls preventing you from backtracking to the start of the first act. When you get back to the beginning of Act 1, the tiles underwater will be the wrong colour, for some odd reason. Also, Sonic can get stuck on this wall as the tunnel tries to pull him in. Sonic will stay there until you press down on the D-pad and things return to normal. After the huge wall has stopped chasing Sonic at the beginning of Act 2, have Tails break down the walls and then stand about here to prevent new walls coming down. Now move Sonic right and then back to the left and now the huge wall will be gone. Usually, new walls would cut off access to the beginning of the act, and the huge wall always unloads to save memory. It's not intended that you can backtrack like this, but this section is now available to explore, although it feels a bit emptier now. As Knuckles climb a wall under these moving platforms, and they push Knuckles down to the point where he's climbing in the air. If you're supersonic, during the Knuckles cutscene in Act 2, hold right on the D-pad the entire time and then once the bridge collapses, make your way to the boss as quickly as possible. Because supersonic moves quicker than regular Sonic, it's possible to pass the boss before the screen locks and make it to the animal capsule which isn't loaded correctly at first. Jumping on the switch to end the act as usual brings up the score, but then the cutscene that takes Sonic to Marble Garden never plays.
You'll still be able to hear Robotnik in the background and Sonic is just waving his finger. Sonic knows what's up. If you do the same glitch but return to the boss fight, screen lock still won't happen and the animal capsule will unload. And you'll also be able to reach the very end of the zone which is a huge drop into nothing. If Super Sonic gets sucked up by Robotnik's whirlpool, Sonic's sprite will be that of normal Sonic, but he'll be yellow and still invincible. Sonic will no longer lose rings but won't move as quickly or jump as high as Super Sonic. This is a Sonic 3 only glitch that was fixed in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And now for the first major glitch in the game. At the beginning of Act 2, hit the star post and then get crushed by the wall. Act 1 is still loaded and we need to lose a life to unload it and load Act 2 correctly for this next glitch to work. With the second act now loaded, we can do a horizontal underflow or level wrap, a glitch that will take us all the way to the end of Act 2 in seconds. The level wrap in Hydro City Zone Act 2 is performed like so. Spin dash and do a small jump and then hold down on the D-pad to roll towards the moving wall. Before you hit the wall, jump once again and then hold right on the D-pad. When Sonic reaches the rings, tap jump again and the wall will now push Sonic into the ground. Now just keep holding right until the screen reaches about this point here. As the screen keeps moving, tap left to face Sonic in that direction and then hold down and begin charging a spin dash for around 4 seconds. The screen will begin moving upwards and then lock at the boss to proceed as normal. To really explain what's happening, we need to look at how the game's camera works. In most stages, Sonic's position is tracked internally by X and Y coordinates, and the game calculates Sonic's distance from the top left corner of the zone map to determine where Sonic is within the stage. A level wrap occurs when Sonic bypasses the left edge of the screen. The game treats Sonic's X coordinate in memory as a number less than zero, but position coordinates are tracked as unsigned integers. So instead of a negative number, it's a very large positive number which correlates to the end of the stage. This requires some very specific circumstances depending on the stage. In Sonic 3 and Knuckles, a level wrap always puts Sonic to X coordinate 32767, even if the stage isn't that long. To fill out the remainder of the map, the level repeats itself, creating an area called the loopback, where no sprites exist but all the level geometry is still in place so Sonic can still maneuver around. However, if the camera locks on the boss room, as in this example, Sonic is automatically placed at the boss. Marble Garden has its own version of this kind of glitch known as a screen wrap. Level wraps are horizontal and screen wraps like this are vertical. And with this glitch, Marble Garden can be broken in so many ways. After the first drill machine lowers these platforms, hold down on the D-pad to pan the camera down. With the camera all the way at the bottom, let go of down on the D-pad and then immediately jump. The camera will now completely lose track of Sonic. Charge up a spin dash and then let it go and a few seconds later tap left and jump at the same time. Move Sonic to the right to finally see him on screen and now he'll be quite a way into the act. During this glitch, Sonic will be inside a wall, and pressing left will make the wall's collision eject Sonic in the opposite direction so he isn't stuck. A screen wrap is similar in concept to a level wrap, but uses vertical coordinates instead of horizontal. Some zones in the game are so tall that they exceed the amount of space available for the stage. In order to fit the whole stage, they wrap vertically infinitely. In stages that wrap vertically, like Marble Garden Zone, instead of using absolute values for vertical position, it uses values linked to the camera position. The top of the camera camera is position 0 and anything above it is negative. Since such position values are unsigned, that would read as a large positive number, which causes the screen to move downwards to that position to find Sonic. In the time it takes to scroll down, all sprite objects cease to exist until they're brought back on screen and characters can move into them. And this glitch can be performed a few times in Act 1 of Marble Garden to end up further than intended. In this section after the loop, crouch once again, but this time when the camera is panned all the way down, let go of the D-pad and then jump right. A second or two later, do two separate spin dashes in quick succession. Hopefully when the camera catches up to Sonic, he should be inside a yellow spring. Now spin dash yet again and then jump to the right after releasing it to end up inside the wall. Next hold left on the D-pad and eventually Sonic will end up on this slope, yet again skipping a lot of the stage. You don't have to wait too long to do the next screen wrap which will really help break this zone. As before, pan the camera down and then jump to the right and keep hold of right on the D-pad for around 2-3 to three seconds and then switch to left on the D-pad, which you hold for just less than 3 seconds. This should place Sonic in Marble Garden's loopback area, which as explained earlier is the zone repeating on itself with no other object sprites loaded. 
it's in this loopback that we can do something really crazy. We're going to be facing the Act 2 boss in Act 1, but it's not quite as simple as that. Standing here if we hold down on the D-pad, Sonic will end up inside the ground, and then we need to do a series of small spin dashes to get Sonic roughly in the center of the screen where, crazy as it sounds, Robotnik is waiting. After a few hits from the spin dashes, Robotnik will begin to move downwards, and here we need to remain in a spin dash to get one extra hit. Once we land the hit, tap right to push Sonic all the way to the left side of the screen and then charge up another spin dash. You'll land another hit, but Sonic will lose all his rings on this one. Quickly hold left and then tap jump which should get you another hit as holding left will have sent Sonic right. Sonic should now be roughly here where we should be able to land the final hit to end the boss. Now wait for the animal capsule to get close enough to just jump and open it and then hold down on the D-pad. This will lower the screen and as it does so, press right on the D-pad which will correctly end the stage and prevent Sonic from getting crushed. Fighting Robotnik this way can be tricky as you're unable to see where Sonic is, and being inside the wall means your left and right inputs are reversed. But here's your reward, what a crazy mess this is, finishing Act 2 in Act 1 does amazing things. It's also possible to fight Knuckles' second act boss as Sonic or Tails by using a level wrap. At the top of the zone is a slope that if you hit it like this from a spin dash, Sonic or Tails can go above the screen and get inside a wall. Once again, holding right on the D-pad will send Sonic or Tails shooting off to the left in another level wrap. Now tap left and then do two separate spin dashes and then as soon as you see this blue pulley, jump and now you should be in Knuckles' boss fight as either Sonic or Tails. Likewise, Knuckles can also go on to Sonic and Tails' second act boss fight as Super or Hyper Knuckles. Using a spinning top, carefully take this thing out to reach Sonic's path and then continue as normal through the zone. The boss fight is exactly the same, but now Tails is carrying Knuckles. Moving on to Carnival Night Zone and perhaps the craziest glitch in the whole game known as the Wheel Glitch. By bouncing on these balloons like this, and then touching the spinning wheel without actually being on it, Sonic's physics will be completely broken. Now, extremely high gravitational force is applied in any given direction, which enables this entire zone to be broken in complex ways. As soon as you get the wheel glitch, charge up a spin dash and then wait for the spikes just off to the right of the screen to drop and then release the spin dash and hold left. Keep holding left on the D-pad to make your way around this platform which can be tricky but this is needed to get to the next part of the glitch. As Sonic is falling towards the left side of the screen, do a quick spin dash and then hold left. As Sonic leaves the screen, spin dash again, hold left and then two seconds later spin dash once more. When the camera levels out, repeatedly hold left for brief periods until you reach the mini boss. It's possible to maintain the wheel glitch into the second act, but we'll lose the glitch if we jump. The reason this glitch works is the game still thinks we're on the wheel, which has different physics to anything else in the game. The game is programmed in a way that, in order to lose the properties of the wheel, the player has to jump off it, which we haven't done as we were never on it to begin with. For us to keep the effects of the glitch, we need to beat this mini boss without jumping, which is tricky to say the least. First we need to hold left while on this wall until we can safely land on the spinning spiked platform. Turn to the right and then begin spin dashing to open up the boss for attack. Now luckily when we take damage it puts us back on the platform and enables us to roll off and bounce on top of the boss for the remaining hits. Once the boss is down and the act ends we still have the wheel glitch in the second act and can continue breaking this zone down. This act is even more broken than the first, but requires a lot more moves to make it through quickly, but to explain it fully would take a while. So, as the controls are on screen, here are some pointers to get you through. You're able to jump off the red barrels and keep the glitch, as they only briefly override the wheel glitch and then it's cleared out. A series of spin dashes in certain directions will get you to where you need to be, and eventually you'll be clipping through this wall to end up on the anti-gravity section. Spin dash down here and then use the balloons to get up to these platforms, remembering not to jump at any point as you'll lose the wheel glitch. As before, the red barrels can be jumped from without losing the glitch. This next part requires a lot of height to make a jump up to the top and then you need to land on the bat bot, then the ring box and hopefully touch the rounded edge to stand on it like so. Hold left on the D-pad and Sonic will run into the wall, and as soon as the camera starts moving, let go of left. About half a second later, tap right and then left again which should put you on the other side of this wall only Knuckles can break. Now that we're in Knuckles section, it's pretty much a straight shot all the way to the end of the act. We can finally jump again now and into the cannon which will take us to a ton of boosters and once we're through all those, we'll actually end up being on Knuckles' side of this button. Jump over the button and Knuckles will appear out of nowhere, and the cutscene will begin as normal and then it's up to fight Robotnik. 
This whole thing just goes to show how broken Carnival Night can be with the wheel glitch. But there are a couple of other glitches before we leave this zone. If Tails airlifts Sonic onto a cannon, Sonic can stand on top of it. Do a spin dash and eventually Sonic will hit the floor, and he'll be in a state where gravity no longer applies. The game thinks he's in the cannon, so pressing jump fires him out. Get to the passage leading to the mini boss, then backtrack and have Tails open this gate off screen. You'll be able to go back into the main stage and immediately things will start looking odd. Stand above this anti-gravity teleporter and then look up to pan the camera. Then have Tails airlift Sonic upwards so it's off screen and then drop down. When Sonic is sent back up the teleporter, everything is now even more messed up than before, as a lot of sprites have been displaced slightly. Have a Batbot follow you into the mini boss and its sprite art will become glitched as it swapped out for the electricity sprites from the boss. Keep it around until the end of the act and it will disappear only to reappear as glitched out letters. And then it'll kill Sonic the minute the second act begins, nice. As Tails, when the mini boss is over, drop down to the ground and then hover above it, and Tails will get pushed through the ground and into a glitchy mess below. He'll keep falling until he hits the bottom of the screen and lose a life. Okay, onto Ice Cap Zone now, and here we're going to be using a glitch to break this zone too. There's a slope that you have to jump from to land on this platform. It'll begin falling, and here's where we can get what's called the slope glitch. When you stand on a sprite-based object, as it's destroyed, Sonic enters a state in which he retains the angle of the last ground plane he stood on. In this example, example, he maintains the steep angle of the slope and can be pushed into the wall and begin falling, without resistance, infinitely. This could be used to get through the entire Act 1 of Ice Cap and then some. As the ice platform begins falling, when Sonic reaches this point, begin moving right. The ice platform will slam into the wall and Sonic will now be standing on nothing. Jump down from here and then as soon as you hit the slope below, jump again. Now, hold down on the D-pad until the slope ends. As soon as Sonic is thrown into the next slope, hold left on the D-pad for around 4 seconds. Hold right for half a second, followed by left for 1.5 seconds. Then right again for half a second, left for half a second, and then finally right again for a second, and if you manage to see this section, jump here. All that will hopefully put you in or around this part of Ice Cap, the passage leading to the end of the act. But we're not done just yet. With Slope Glitch still active, if we jump here and hold right, we can do another wrap which will take us into the second act while we're still in the first. Timing it from this point here, hold right for 5.5 seconds, left for 2 seconds, right for 1 second, and then left for a second. When you see this Penguinator, jump and hold right on the D-pad at the same time. Still holding right, when you see this collection of rings, jump again and then let go of right a split second after. This should hopefully put you at the boss, which you'll have to jump down to and you'll still have the slope glitch. End Robotnik as usual and go on to finish Act 2 while still technically in Act 1. When the second act begins, it's possible to finish it with 0 seconds on the clock. So that's Ice Cap Zone, completely destroyed. On to launch base now, and before we kill this zone too, here's a few minor glitches you can try. If you roll onto the huge metal rotating platforms and come to a dead stop, the wrong sprite animation will be shown. The same thing applies if you bounce on it with a bubble shield. If you manage to get Sonic in just the right spot on a booster, charge up a spin dash and this will happen if you keep pressing the jump button. At the beginning of Act 2, make sure you have a lightning shield and make your way down here to a fire shield on a platform above the water. Stand next to it and then spin dash and when you hit the water, it'll turn completely white. You can only see Sonic once he goes above the water and this glitch can only be fixed by entering a bonus stage to reload everything as normal. Okay, let's break launch base zone. When Act 1 begins, we need to do things in a sequence to set up the next level wrap. We need this flybot to follow us down here under the huge rotating platform. Once we're standing about here on this ledge facing left, look up to lock the camera in position. The flybot should attack Sonic and knock him off the ledge to the left and inside the spikes below. Sonic will now be inside the wall, so hold right for a short amount of time and then hold down to pan the camera. Doing this will get us into Knuckles' Act 1 boss room as we'll be able to trigger a screen lock. Once the screen catches up to Sonic, jump up to open the floor to enter the boss room. Sonic and Tails are only meant to fight one of these twin hammer bosses, so finishing one triggers the end of the act and also glitches out the remaining one which will still follow you. Being that Sonic isn't meant to be in Knuckles' boss room, Act 2 won't load correctly meaning Sonic will die either way here, but he's in the second act long enough to appear in his version. If you initiate the boss and then use Tails to airlift Sonic back up to where the screen lock happens, upon finishing Act 1, Knuckles' Act 2 will load correctly, meaning we can go through his stage instead. Now, provided the other twin hammer is still with us, it will follow us wherever we go. 
By having it follow us all the way to the first boss of Sonic's second act, we can do some really cool things. Destroying the twin hammer just before jumping in Robotnik's Egomatic will end Act 2, and the signpost will drop in the ocean. Not only that, an invisible Knuckles will knock us back during a glitched cutscene. When we make it to the main boss, the Egomatic will glitch out, and as soon as Sonic touches the floor, the act officially ends. But Robotnik won't let a simple thing like a stage end get in his way. Haha! -ha. How do you like me now? Uh oh. Something's not right here! If you take the twin hammer along for the ride, it'll be loaded with Knuckles sprites. You can destroy it once you get to the other end, and then it'll turn Robotnik's death machine into something a bit more colourful. I like it. Suits you. Oh no, not this again. Oh, and in Act 2, at the beginning, charge up a spin dash, and if you don't hit the platforms, there is a one frame jump that can put you inside the floor. Then just hold right, and wait. Wait for it. Just a second. Nearly. And... Nice. In Part 2, we break Sonic 3 and Knuckles even more, and check out some of the crazy glitches to be found with debug mode. Be sure not to miss it. And if you like this episode, hit that like button, share it with everyone you know and love, but most importantly, please subscribe if you want to see more from the series. Head over to the Facebook page for the show, I post updates and sneak peeks to upcoming episodes and keep you guys in the know about all things Son of a Glitch. Or you guys can follow me on Twitter and keep updated that way. Also, I stream on Twitch whilst making episodes, so you guys should check me out there too. You know, if you want to. <laughs>